Now this part of the question, we're given this equation, x squared plus kx plus 8 equals k, and we're told that it has no real solutions for x. And we've got to show that k squared plus 4k minus 32 is less than 0. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, I'm going to take the equation that we've got, okay, we'll just copy it down here, x squared plus kx plus 8 equals k. Now this is a quadratic equation because it has got an x squared term in it. It's a quadratic equation in x. But to solve any quadratic equation, what I need to do is get it in the format ax squared plus bx plus c equals naught. So I'm going to subtract k from both sides. So therefore we'd have x squared plus kx plus 8 minus k equals 0. Now this quadratic equation here has 1, 2, 3 terms on the left. It has an x squared term like we have here, then an x term like this one kx, but one constant term. So what I can do is put the 8 minus k in brackets and then I've got one term there. Now that I've got that, okay, we can now use the idea that this quadratic equation has no real solutions. Now when you're solving quadratic equations like this you can use the formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a and hopefully you're familiar with that formula. But if there is no solution for x the only way you get no solutions is if you end up square rooting a negative number. So the b squared minus 4ac would have to be negative, would have to be less than zero if there were to be no solutions. So we use that fact in this part here. So we could say that since there are no real solutions, just write that in, then the b squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac must be a negative number, must be less than zero. And this is the what we need to start to show this result here. So what is b? b is the term in front of uh, x, or the, I should say the coefficient of x, and in this example it's the k. So therefore I can say that k squared for the b squared, then we have minus 4ac, so that's minus 4 times a. a is the coefficient of x squared, which is a 1 here, so I put 1 times c, and c is the value here, 8 minus k. So I'll put that in there, 8 minus k. So b squared minus 4ac is to be less than 0. So all I need to do now is just expand the bracket here. We've got minus 4 times 8, which is minus 32, and minus 4 times minus k is going to be plus 4k and that is less than zero. And you can see that we basically got this up here, just need to change the order of the terms. So we have k squared then plus 4k minus 32 is less than zero. Alright, so that uh, proves that inequality and brings us to the end of this part of the question.